October day 17. So this morning I uh, woke up and I did a tone it up uh, exercise routine. I haven't done tone it up in I don't know a while. Um, every morning when I show my little like five minute, I do about five minutes of just movement in the morning, kind of just wake myself up. And I've been doing blog -lotties. I love blog -lotties. I do them on YouTube. They're totally free. So you should check her out. Her name is Cassie Ho. Um, but the other channel that I love and just haven't been doing their videos for, you know, I don't know, a month or so is the tone, are the Tone It Up girls. They, I don't know, they're just so cheerful and all of their exercise videos are on the beach and it's just like really relaxing to watch um, and to do. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah. So I did that and then I hurriedly buzzed out because I had a dentist appointment early this morning for a teeth cleaning and I was scrambling to find my x-rays because my prior dentist had mailed them to me in an envelope, you know, old school like films. So I was scrambling to find those and that went well, good news, you know, my teeth are all, all looking good, no problem and now they're extra clean and deep cleaned. But I took this along with me. This is the M.O. What is this called? The molar? Yes, molar. I guess this what molar, like molar, like your teeth. That oh, I finally get it now. I'm finally paying attention. The Molar Dental Club CNC Whitening Factory. This is a whitening toothpaste that came in my FabFit bun, Fun Box, and I've seen other YouTubers using this, and I'm a little apprehensive about it. So I took it to the dentist to, to see what they said about it before I started using it, and I encourage you guys to do that with stuff too, like you know supplements and that sort of thing. Um, it, if you have, particularly if you are on other medications, you always take them, you know, call up your healthcare provider and say, hey, is this okay to take? So m me being sort of ignorant in the realm of, of oral hygiene and, you know, dental literature, if you will, I just wanted to get their opinion on this. And they were a little tongue in cheek. They were like, yeah, I probably wouldn't do it. Um, and I can't imagine it's going to work. I was like, well, I've seen videographic somewhat compelling evidence that it brightens the teeth, but I just don't want to annihilate my enamel. Um, and they didn't really give me a straight answer, but they seem like they basically wanted to encourage me not to use this. And I, I don't think they need to do much encouraging. I'm not going to use it. But looking at the ingredients, guys, it's got activated charcoal in it made from raw coconut shell, whatever, bentonite clay and mint extract. Okay. And the mint extract is to make it taste minty. This sounds identical to every face mask out there. This is a face mask. That is what this is. This is a bentonite clay mud mask for your face. Now, I haven't taken it out of the box and looked at it. Maybe we should do that at some point today. But bentonite clay I've talked about on here before is, you know, it's what's in the Amazonian clay mud mask. Um, there's nothing special about the one from the Amazon. They're all, they all have bentonite in them, all the skin masks. And that, um, you know, can sop up sebum or oil, you know, and reduce shininess transiently, okay? It doesn't really have any, like, actual biology changing properties for your skin. Other than if you want to cut down on a little shine before meeting your date, I could see the rationale behind doing a bentonite mask. If you'll recall, I did this bentonite clay mask, the Anjou Dead Sea Mud Mask from Anjou. This was a good one. It was kind of a no-nonsense, minimal ingredients, nothing offensive. Um, and basically, that's what that molar toothpaste is, is this. Like, should I be brushing my teeth with this? I mean, why am I even asking? It, it seems like a, 
like an easy no, but anyways, I thought I'd share that with you guys because I'm kind of puzzled by by this product. Um, I'm gonna check out the toothbrush though because it looked like kind of a fancy one. So anyways, that is what's going on. And I've gotta say, the Bath and Body Works fall candles this year, fragrance wise, they're killing it. Burn time wise, OMG, they are a huge disappointment. They don't last very long at all. I've finished my Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin one and I was really, really rigid with the burn times on that. I only burn it for like an hour. and. Fortunately, it lingers quite a bit, but this morning I fired up the um, the Hay Honey fragrance that I got, and I'm really liking it. This, I put, I did a test run on this. Um, Mr. Kong's mom, Melanie, mentioned that she stores these in the freezer. I think it was her. Many people do store their candles in the freezer prior to using them. So I did a test run on that one and I put it in the freezer and it's been in the freezer for probably a month just because I forgot about it in there. <laughs> it was back behind some frozen bananas. And so I pulled it out and I was a little nervous about how it would burn because there were some little superficial cracks in the wax, but it seems okay. But it did look like the wax was sort of pulling away a little bit from the glass. I don't know how that affects like how clean it burns or whatever, but um, I'll probably extinguish that in a little bit because it's been going for, I don't know, approximately an hour or so. But um, speaking of freezing candles, you guys have been asking me to show you all how I de-wax my candle jars for, um, you know, repurposing purposes. And I just love these pretty lids. But I have one in the freezer, and so today I'm going to de-wax it for you guys at some point and show you how I do that. Um, so I'm going to pop this one in the freezer now. Um, so that's basically what I do. When the candle is, is done and no longer burnable, um, I let it come to room temperature, put the lid on it, and pop it in my freezer. And uh, you can do that overnight. I tend to leave them in there until I get around to it. But anyways, I'll show you what I do with the um, frozen jar in a second because I have a few incubating in there that need to come out and be dealt with. So I um, may take a little break and do that. I'm working on some projects right now and uh, some fun stuff that I'm really excited about developing as far as um, uh, the research stuff that I'm working on. And uh, yeah, so that's going really well. Productive morning, productive morning. Oh, and speaking of my FabFitFun box, um, this is a, like a, I don't know, a waste basket, I guess, that I got many, many, many moons ago at Target. I mean, when I say many moons ago, I think like when Target first opened in the world. <laughs> I doubt this thing still exists. Um, but I've got two uh, yoga mats here that I alternate between. This is one that I ordered from the Tone It Up girls. They have their own. And this is one that I got like probably a decade ago from Lululemon. Um, I remember being conflicted about purchasing it at the time because it was quite expensive. Um, but it really has lasted me forever and I just love it. Um, it's probably not Vogue anymore, but like I care. Anyways, this is that meet me at the bar bag. Here, let me. But what I was trying to show you guys is this is that meet me at the bar bag that they sent me. This little tote bag here. Ugh, come over here and I can show you. Um, and I've just taken it. And, um, you know, like I'm going to go meet friends anywhere. <laughs> but I'm using it to store. I have another um, yoga mat in here that's uh, a little bit more on the go, if you will, um, that I got um, at an Athleta event in New York. It was called Yoga yoga in Times Square, something like that, on like National Yoga Day. When I first uh, moved to New York, I went to that. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, so I've got that. And then this is um, a yoga handheld that my mom bought impulsively at one point and gave to me. And I have never, ever used it because uh, I always forget it whenever I go to yoga. And these are some ballet shoes. Um, I left over from a Halloween costume, actually. And I just keep them in there because I can't part with them. And then I also have my jazzy little uh, bar class shoes. Uh, but yeah, it's about noontime and um, because I had the dilemma of going to the dentist this morning, I never really know like should I eat before or after and I feel like afterwards I'm ravenous because I oftentimes don't eat before I go because I don't want stuff in my teeth. And then I'm ravenous afterwards but I have this lingering guilt like well I should 
let everything kind of settle. So I think more than enough time has gone by. So um, I'm just making myself some oatmeal here on the stove. Um, and I'm gonna throw in some mix-ins. This is just a third of a cup of plain uh, rolled oats. And I um, just put that in, uh, brought some water to a boil and I have it simmering here. And I added like a few raisins in there to sweeten it. And then these are the spices that I added. I added ginger, turmeric, and cinnamon. Um, but I really, I'm showing you guys this because I'm liking how these ball jars are working out for my spices and the larger ones are working out for all of my jazzy legumes. And I kind of want to get a shelf to go in this space here that's kind of a no man's land to store those to get them out of my pantry. I would show you guys my pantry, but it is embarrassing how crowded it is in there. Um, but I wanna put them out here because they're they're attractive to look at and that way I can just grab them and I don't necessarily have to be going into the pantry. So if you guys know of anything like that, you know, it would be something that would mount up here and would be attractive, please comment below. I would love to know your thoughts. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that oatmeal in a bowl because it's cooked up. I didn't add cauliflower rice because I am fresh out. And I'm gonna top it, I'm gonna mix in some of the PB2 Orgain um, peanut butter powder. I love that stuff. The peanut butter protein powder. And I will add some toppings, so I'll show you guys that. Turmeric oatmeal here, and as I showed you guys, I just topped it with like, I don't know, one or two teaspoons, I know it sounds odd, of um, those green Desi chickpeas that I cooked up. I love adding just a sprinkling of legumes onto the top of like my oatmeal. I've really been enjoying doing that, because uh, then when I put on um, like what, Put on some of the other toppings they end up kind of mixing in and tasting like almost like little candies in there so i like that and then i've got some of that um, reduced fat coconut flake those reduced fat coconut flakes that i like i added some of the um, cinnamon sweet leaf drops to the entire batch i also have topped it with um some lacuma powder, which I am loving. I get the, that at the Moon Juice Shop. Um, and it tastes like kind of a caramely sweet potato. And I also added a pinch, just a pinch of the pearl powder, um, which I buy at the Moon Juice Shop. It's supposed to have a brightening effect. Um, and that is the ingredient in Beauty Dust, which I also get from Moon Juice Shop and add to my coffee every morning, as you guys, I believe, saw me do today. Um, so yeah, I just add a little bit more here and then a little bit more, get a little bit more of the pearl here. And then I topped it with some of that Cambria Joy granola and a little bit of the uh, PB powder sprinkled on top for a little extra peanutty taste. And here's my biotin. I take 5,000 micrograms of biotin in the morning and 5,000 micrograms of biotin at night with food. Um, so I'm a little late, but it doesn't really matter as long as it's with food because biotin is a water soluble vitamin, um, a B vitamin. And um, I have a lot of new people here, so I'm just gonna say this here. Um, yes, I have a video about biotin and its effects on nails. Um, and um, I've mentioned it in my hair care videos as well. Um, I take 10,000 micrograms of biotin daily. I take that dose because that's just what I've always taken. There is no established dose. Biotin is a vitamin supplement, so it's not regulated. So this saying that it has 5,000 micrograms in it, it's anyone's guess, okay? Um, unlike an aspirin, which is a, which is a drug, you know, an aspirin tablet will have 81 milligrams. You have actually no idea of how much active biotin, if any, is in this. Um, but uh, this is a natural brand that I get at Costco. I started taking this well over a year ago, I want to say now. I can't even remember. I would say the most drastic effect that I noticed was on my nails. Um, they grow a lot, lot. They just grow much, much faster than they ever did. Uh, before and um, you know like I've said on here before in my hand care tips video which if you missed that check it out I do not like manicure my nails or anything I just leave them as is and I cut them with clippers I never file them cut them I don't know maybe every two weeks I hate long nails like they really need to be cut right now because they're getting they're getting too long I cannot stand long nails they drive me nuts but and but I never really noticed any difference in my hair honestly Okay, so for de-waxing the candles, first up, 
here's the candle that I'm gonna de-wax. You see it's my fall leaves with the sweet pumpkin topping. Um, so <clears throat> I just took it out of the freezer and it's still cold. So I take advantage of that to try and remove the label. Yeah, it, it separates much more readily than if you try and do it like when the, cam the, when the candle is at room temperature. And this is a butter knife that I got at like the Goodwill for a dime that I use exclusively for this. It's got kind of a, a rounded edge here. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm just taking it and scraping off <clears throat> some of the residual adhesive uh, from the bottom label. This is the toughest one to remove. Ta-da! And you can see through the bottom that the wax is starting to crack. Um, so to get that out, I just take a butter knife you it smells like leaves and <clears throat> break it up. See, the wax starts to come out. And those little metal tabs are kind of the, the most adherent thing in there. So I get the majority of the wax out. Many of you take this wax and put it in your wax melters and all that kind of thing. I don't, I waste it. <laughs> Just throw it away. Under the little metal tabs and they pop right off. The jar is pretty sturdy, so it's fine. All right, and so all of the adhesive. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> oh well. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I got so excited, I threw it at you, and look what I did. Oh no. Well, at any rate, I will remove that glass. <laughs> And I'll talk you guys through some that I already have de-waxed, but at least I've got the sweet lid here. All right, and so to get the kind of city garbagey stuff, you can see I've already done that. What I do is, this is just some cruddy coconut oil that I just keep here at room temperature and I dip my fingers in and run it along and get any of the um, residual off of the front of the label and then run it under warm water and then I just um, kind of uh, wash it by hand with a little dish soap if need be, but this one cleaned up pretty nicely. This is so cute. <laughs> so happy to have that, making some room in my freezer. Well, hey guys, so I just got out of the shower after the gym and as promised, let's just take a look. I, I've already opened this because um, I was curious. This is the molar toothpaste and essentially what it is, is a mess waiting to happen right here, okay? It's it's black charcoal powder um, add mixed with bentonite clay. Woo! That, that's just a recipe for disaster. I'm gonna pop the lid on, but you know what came to me in the shower um, is that this will actually be fantastic to take off rather than, you know, annihilate your enamel on your teeth, which I suspect this would do. I'm going to use this for all of my um, Bath and Body Works jars to uh, remove the adhesive and all of my candle jars. So this is not going to go to waste. This is going to be a great little cleaning doohickamajigger. Yeah, that's a word I just made up. <laughs> But, um, oh, another skincare update that I wanted to share with you all. I shaved my legs tonight, and you all know that um, I had tried out, and oh Lord, I'm probably getting, um, yep, I've got soot all over my face now. You all know that I tried out the Holica Holico Aloe Gel from that the kind folks at Beauty Sesh sent me, and I enjoyed using that as a shaving gel. Um, and um, so rather than repurchase it, I decided to get this Nature's Republic one. I got this on iHerb and showed it in my iHerb haul, and many of you were curious about it. And I used it tonight, and I really liked it. I think this one is a lot thicker and makes a nicer barrier than the Holico Holico one. Um, but it being in a jar, it's a little hard to shave your legs out of the jar with it. So what I did is um, there's like a little um, black, oh, excuse me, there's a little clear topper inside and I, I don't have it in there. I took it out and I just took a dollop of this and put it on the edge of my shower and just had like like a little portable shaving sh shaving tray, if you will. So I really liked it in that manner, and um, I thought it was quite nice. So I think this this is comparable, I guess, maybe to the Holica Holica one, but a better price point, and it's available on iHerb. Um, so I really enjoyed that, but thought I would share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. Um, I'm just going to kind of rotate you around here. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. You know, I, um, I really love these kind of just like 
chitty chatty vlogs sometimes um, so I appreciate for those of you who aren't really so into vlogs watching them but um, you know last uh, uh, vlogtober day 10 last week's uh, Tuesday video I think really resonated with a lot of you all and that um, really just uh, having kind of an outlet or uh, an avenue to to speak and to um, just kind of get things off your chest and just kind of I don't know unwind can be really helpful and um, I um, I'm anxious to know if any of you all have found the the better health um, excuse me better help uh, site useful I really think it's fantastic um, you know as a resource for for finding someone to chat with if you missed that video make sure you check it out but I'll put the link down below um, if you guys are at all interested in it but for me you know vlogging has been such a fun outlet uh, to just kind of have this little black box it's like journaling it really is I've never been very good at journaling because I get too distracted but I feel as though when I'm speaking to the camera I'm speaking to you the individual who's watching me not however many of you happen to be tuning in at the time I feel as though I'm having this ongoing conversation with just you with just you and so I, I you know I don't know always if uh, if you were here yesterday or not um, so thank you for your patience and, and everything like that I really appreciate it I try my best to put as much uh, data for you all in the description box um, but I know it can get confusing and sometimes you may be like whoa what is she talking about where did that come from um, but bear in mind I you know I'm speaking to you the individual as my friend so I just wanted to say thank you guys uh, for kind of giving me this outlet and just sort of listening to me ramble about skincare and um, you know debunking some skincare myths hopefully for you guys and uh, just hopefully being a barrel of entertainment so um, um, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.